So I pay about a quarter of my income in rent. So one of my friends, he lives in this giant house, uh, pays probably a couple hundred dollars for a room that's twice the size of mine. Um, and you know, it has a sunroof, uh, has total freedom to build whatever he wants. They have a giant basement. They have a huge yard, um, that they throw barbecues in all the time. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to see that and not want to do that. <laughs> yeah. One of my plans is also to move back in with my girlfriend. So she is renting out of a house and if I move in over there, I'm paying a third of the rent that I'm paying over here. Uh, and I'll actually have a shorter commute. But I used to read on the public transit a lot. Um, and now I mostly sort of like use that time for like reflection and that kind of thing. And then when I came back here uh, for work, the traffic situation became more apparent. So I, I switched over to public transportation, which is interesting. At the same time, San Jose doesn't have the greatest public transit in the world, <laughs> which is surprising, right? Because, you know, you'd think uh, all the tech companies would maybe play into that. Something I've seen in Mountain View, actually, like the tech companies paid off, or this is my assumption, they basically paid, jointly paid for like a public bus, um, which, you know, caters more to the offices than like regular stops. I think that San Jose is growing a lot and there's not a lot of the money is developing in private institutions. So I don't think it's, there's a system set up for that to equalize back out to, you know, services or anything like that for the rest of folks. I always knew I kind of wanted to get into like technology, but I just wasn't really sure where I think it was like eighth grade when they did some exercise and they were like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, oh, I want to be a programmer at Blizzard. By the time it was like, oh, enroll in colleges and UCSC had computer science, computer engineering. So I started off as a computer engineer, um, realized that I was not so into the hardware side of things. I graduated uh, school like a quarter early, which was interesting because... I actually didn't have a lot of web development experience when I exited college. As far as practical skills that I didn't have leaving school, I learned because I just bombed interviews. I moved into Mountain View um, just because it was closer to work. Um, found out I wasn't a big fan of that area. And as someone who, you know, got, you know, their first career making decent money, like, I didn't necessarily want to like have quiet nights all the time. <laughs> so I moved into, you know, San Jose area, um, partially, uh, because it just seemed more interesting. Uh, this apartment I've been there for, let's see, probably about eight, eight or nine months. I have two roommates. Um, they're a couple and they live and we rent out of a two bedroom. I've found that even if you get a nice apartment, generally it's like a lot of facade. I think they're geared towards people living there for like maybe a year or something and they just night neaten up the apartment, you know, before they come in and charge them a bunch of money and then people will leave. <laughs> One of the things I'm looking forward to is the, the place that I'll be moving to actually has like a yard, um, just space to do things. We already started like a garden over there. Um, we started building a couch this last weekend. Um, just, you know, there's space to do things. <laughs> My only fear is the fact that I'm kind of one of those people that's taking something that's affordable for somebody else. But yeah, I don't. <laughs> I want to move in with my girlfriend <laughs> and she wants to live over there. So but where I'm at now, um, I built my desk there, but you know, people were just like staring at me. Like it was the weirdest thing for someone to be like, you know, out on their like area of the, I don't know, catwalk of like the apartments, you know, building something, you know, I'm looking forward to having more space probably in the next year or so I plan to move out to East Bay. And then in the next couple of years, probably 
up into like the Pacific Northwest. 